bunch of slaves, letting everybody push you around. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? It's about the only way to get any kind of peace or serenity. Just go outside and go out in the woods, look around at nature, enjoy things. But uh, I want to talk to, to you guys about a few things today. You know, most of the time I'm real calm. I'm real mellow. But you know, I'm the type of guy that lets things build and build and build and then I explode. I'm not going to do that. But you probably will be able to see my anger come out in this. The point I want to make is... The reason why no one is going to pull together in, in, in this stuff to try to save this country is because everyone's got their own agenda. You know, people still believe in, in the voting system and, you know, Obama or, or Mitt Romney or whatever, whatever, whatever uh, puppet they want to put out. And um, I watched the debates, you know, this last week, uh, the presidential and uh, vice president blah, 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 you know. Uh, they, they made some interesting points, but none of them even talked about the Federal Reserve or our $16 trillion in debt to where uh, the banksters have just devalued the dollar so much that uh, we're going to be enslaved for eternity. Um, don't worry, they're going to take care of that, though, when they uh, kick off the World War III. Anyway, I guess my point is, These people work for us. We don't work for them. Uh, we, we shouldn't even have to answer to them. But they should answer to us. They should answer us why we're $16 trillion in debt. And they should also be uh, taking care of business. We pay their bills. They don't pay ours. We're just stuck. But yet they're the ones with the uh, underground bunkers and everything else. You know, it's just really ridiculous that a lot of people think to themselves, oh, I'm just only one person, what can I do? I'll tell you what you can do. You could spread this video or make your own videos and get the word out to the people. <laughs> Don't you demand answers? They're the same people who, this administration alone has pretty much sponsored terrorism to overthrow governments. And the people that they were calling terrorists are now running Libya and running Egypt. And we're kicking off into World War III. Some other people have written me uh, some personal messages saying, well, we're not in World War III. We're, we're not going to World War III. Well, you got to remember in the 1930s, we didn't go into World War III immediately, did we? You know, we had to have that event to drag us in. And, you know, that, that's the next thing they're going to do. You know, they, I heard the uh, vice president talking about last night, oh, we don't want to go into war again. We don't want to launch another war. Well, no. But if they could create that event to make the American people go along with it, well, of course, people will go along with it then. Oh, yeah, we got to get them people, blah, blah, blah. More tyranny on us. And the people that they set up over there, the same terrorists that uh, supposedly done 9-11. And they're setting up TSA scanners. Heck, they even got, got another one uh, that's coming out that can see even what you ate that day. Uh, detect just about everything on your body, anything you ate. Uh, for all you people out there that uh, smoke pot or whatever. Oh, they'll, they'll probably come and arrest you on site. Um, I don't know. Things things are just out of hand. <sighs> Maybe it's, uh, like my friend said, too many people. <laughs> I don't know. But I, I do know that there's too many different ideas, and we need to go back to our constitutional rights. Now, I don't want to hear anything from you guys out there about... Oh, those uh, rights were only for the signers of the Constitution. No, no, I'm, I'm not going to play that game. 
you know, we have the God-given rights of our Constitution of the United States of America. And um, that's, that's what we need to be upholding, our constitutional rights. They've taken those away from us. Actually, I'm not going to say slowly because they've, they've done it rather rapidly this last year. So, I don't know. There, there's just so many things that go on through my head right now. It's just unbelievable. But these people, uh, they work for us. We don't work for them. We should be demanding answers right now. And don't say you're just one person because you're not. There's many of us. There's probably millions of us. So think about that. Spread this video and uh, let's get it out. Let's get something done here. I'm done with these assholes.